Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to bring you some Pro Strategy Football 2021. Continue with our 1977 What If Joe Namath Played the Whole Season as the Rams starting quarterback. And we are in week 13. We're coming down the stretch. Lots of excitement in, in our replay here. And in this game, we play as the Rams. And it's the Rams taking on the Falcons at the L.A. Coliseum. The Falcons are 3-9. and nine. The Rams are 11-1. and one. We win. We clinch home field advantage throughout the NFC playoffs. Let's get the point spread and the over-under because everyone likes that. So we're going to go to Analyze Game. And we'll, we'll sim it a thousand times. Well, Joe Namath and the Los Angeles Rams are 12-point favorites at home. The over-under, we'll say 19 and 16, that's when they win. Uh, Rams win almost 89% of the time. Falcons win approximately 11% of the time. Over-under looks like 35 to me. There we go, and now let's go to the teams. We'll start with the Rams. I'm sorry, we'll start with the... I always do that. With the Falcons. Falcons, run blocking, pass blocking, both sevens. Red zone offense, team discipline, both fours. Ball security is a six. Rating system, one through nine. One being the worst, nine being the best. Two-minute offense is a four. On the road, they are a four. They're not bueno on the road. Uh, defense is pretty solid, though. Run defense, pass defense, and pass rush, more than solid. They're eights. Red zone defense is a nine. They're quite stingy with giving up points. Uh, they cause fumbles, which is turnovers at an eight. Defensive stamina is excellent at a nine. And they control or prevent big plays at an eight. They could give us some trouble here. Our only loss came to the Vikings, and they had one heck of a pass rush. Now for the Rams, run blocking, pass blocking, 8-8, eight, eight. red zone offense, 7, team discipline, 5, ball security, 5, two-minute offense, 5, at home, 9. So we have a, you know, we're much better at home, and that's going to be important in the playoffs. Run defense, pass defense, pass rush, 8s. Red zone defense, 8, causes fumbles at a 5, defensive stamina is an 8, controlling or preventing big plays, by the opponent, 7 for the Los Angeles Rams. Coaching, well, we do the coaching, but we do like to run the ball, and when we throw, we like to go over the top. We favor a 4-3, a but we'll bounce between a 4-3 and a 3-4, and I like to play more man than zone, and we will blitz on some occasions. For the Falcons, they like to run the ball. They're a conservative team, take fewer risks. They will run the halfback most often, and when passing, they like to use... They like to pass mostly to the two wide receivers. They favor a 4-3. They'll bounce between man and zone, and they, too, will blitz on some occasions. Offensive line for the 77 Falcons. Adam, Scott, Van Note, Thielman, Bryant. The extra offensive lineman, McKin uh, McKinley. For the Los Angeles Rams. Offensive line, France, Max, Saul, Hera, Williams. Extra offensive lineman, Horton. The offense for the Rams. It will not be Pat Hayden. It is Joe Hollywood Namath at quarterback. McCutcheon and Capaletti are your running backs. And John Capaletti's back from his injury. Jackson and Waddy are your starting wideouts. Nelson, the starting tight end. You'll also see... Uh, Jesse and Scales as the extra wideouts, and Charlie Young is the backup tight end. And the packages change with the play formations. For the Falcons, Steve Barkowski is the quarterback. Stanback and Thompson are your running backs. Jenkins and Francis, your starting wideouts. Mitchell's the starting tight end. Backup wide receivers, Farmer, Reichman, and the backup tight end, McCrary. 
Defensive line for the Falcons, and it's a good one. Humphrey, Bailey, Lewis, Murrow. Extra defensive lineman, Yates. For the Rams, defensive line. Youngblood, that's Jack Youngblood. Brooks, Jones, Dreyer. Extra defensive lineman, Fanning. Linebackers and defensive backs for the Los Angeles Rams. The linebackers, Brzezinski, Jim Youngblood, no relation to Jack. Jack Reynolds, Isaiah Robertson. The defensive backs, Thomas, Simpson, Elmendorf, Jackson. The nickelback, Cromwell. The dimeback, Wallace. For the Falcons, linebackers, Pennywell, Ortega, McLean, and Brzezin Brzezina. Defensive backs, Lawrence, Easterling, Brown, Bias, Nickelback, Reed, Dimeback, Moriarty. The place kicker for the Falcons is Steinfort. The punter is James. For the Rams, Raphael Septien, and boy is he hit or miss. He's the kicker. Glenn Walker is the punter. Joining us here at the LA Coliseum, Tribes Fan 879. Check out that wonderful channel. For all things Stratomatic Card and Dice Baseball, Jack Dawson, another fine YouTube content creator, and of course our good friend, the original Grognard, who's putting up History Maker Golf on top of his military strategy uh, games. And he has the Skins game, front nine and back nine, so check it out. I still have to check out the back nine, which just uploaded yesterday. To the Coliseum we go. Head coach for the Atlanta Falcons, the 3-9 and nine Atlanta Falcons, Lehman Bennett for the Los Angeles Rams, Chuck Knox and myself. And as they say in pro strategy football, let's do this. And we will play at expert. Atlanta wins the toss. They elect to receive and we will kick deep. So Septian to kick off. Falcons setting up for the return. From the end zone comes Moriarty. 10, zigzagging 15, 20, and brought down near the 20. Twenty-four yard return for Moriarty. Falcons split backfield, Thompson and Stanback. Burkowski. Barkowski, excuse me, under center. Mitchell's the tight end. Jenkins and Franken, Francis out wide. And we're going to play 4-3. We're going to play man. We're going to key the run, and we're going to key the halfback stand back. First and ten. Barkowski's going to throw. Underneath the Jenkins, that was a quick hitch. And they'll pick up five. They'll pick up five yards there. Second and five, we're going to key the run once again. And we will key stand back. And they move. The Falcons move. They give it to Thompson. He smothered three-yard loss in the backfield. Excellent job by Simpson in the front seven. Simpson coming up to play the run. Penalty on the play. That's going to be on the Falcons. It can be either third and eight or second and ten. We're going to go. We're going to decline and say third and eight. Falcons go four wide receivers set. Farmer and Francis to one side. Jenkins and Rackman to the other. Stand back the lone. Set back behind Barkowski, who's under center. We're going to play pass, and we're going to switch to our nickel coverage, nickel man coverage. And our defensive line will play in tight. Linebackers to read and react. Uh, Reynolds, we got 8 8 8 4. 8-6, eight, 8-7. Eight, we're going to blitz Reynolds. So we're going to send Reynolds, Jack Reynolds to blitz, Jim Youngblood to read and react, and the free safety Simpson to roam. Put, put, put. 
Barkowski, they pick up the blitz, has time. He throws middle, incomplete. He was looking for Jenkins. Well covered by Jackson, fourth and eight, and the Falcons will punt. James will do the punting. Please do not hit the punter. He gets the punt off. It's a low line drive punt. And here comes Cullen Bryant down the sidelines as he's almost at midfield. 38-yard punt, 9-yard return by Bryant. Rams will take over first and 10 at their 48. No, it's not going to be Pat Hayden. It's Hollywood Joe Namath. So, and we have John Capaletti back. That's good news. We're going to go two tight end set. With Nelson and Young, Jackson alone. That's Harold Jackson alone wide out. Capaletti the up back. Lawrence McCutcheon behind him. And by golly, we're going over the top. Long pass, play action, fake. Jackson will go in motion and he'll run a corner route. Young, and actually we're going to have Nelson run a post. Let's have Nelson run a post to try to... Okay, a post, Al, not the corner. To try to occupy the safeties. Young stays in the block. Capaletti stays in the block. And McCutcheon stays in the block. So play action fake. And we were looking for Harold Jackson. Will be our primary receiver on a deep corner route. Motion. Man coverage for the Falcons. Nameth with time. He heaves the magic bean. Complete to Jackson. He's racing towards the end zone. Brought down at the 20. So Hollywood, Joe Namath, play action, fake over the top, 32 yards to Harold Jackson, tackled by Lawrence, first and 10 for the Rams at the Falcons' 20-yard line. Here is a replay in actual speed. Man coverage, play action, fake. Namath, excellent protection, and you have to give him excellent protection on those gimpy knees. He hits Jackson for a big, big play. First and 10 at the Atlanta 20. Two tight end set once again. Hey, diddle, diddle. Lawrence McCutcheon up the middle. Capaletti to lead the way. Man coverage for the Falcons. McCutcheon gets the carry. He struggles. Second down. No gain. Wrapped up by Lewis. Good job by the Falcons. Winning the day at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. Second and 10. They'll give the ball to Capaletti on the... Oh, and they like to play a 4-3. We can show you that. On the counter left, Johnny Capaletti coming back from injury. Motion, zone coverage for the Falcons. Counter, Capaletti busts for about three. They'll spot it a two-yard gain. So the Falcons quite stout against the run. Third and eight. Third and eight. Shotgun, four wide receivers set. Third and eight from the Atlanta 18. Draw play to Lawrence McCutcheon out of the shotgun. Waddy and Jesse to one side. Scales and Jackson to the other. Namath in shotgun. McCutcheon next to him. Man coverage for the Falcons. No safety help. Here's the draw. McCutcheon's got the first down. First down. Oh, that delayed, delayed handoff. Nine yards. Did they say penalty? Yeah. No injury. Oh, my Lord. Joe Namath is hurt. He is favoring his ribs. And he is out for the rest of the game. Oh, no. Joe Namath goes out, and we have to play with Pat Hayden. Oh, boy, Joe Namath. And there's a lot of pushing and shoving as the Rams feel it was a cheap not, cheap shot on Hollywood Joe. But he goes out favoring his ribs. And here comes Pat Hayden. We'll stick with the shotgun. Delayed handoff to McCutcheon once again. Everyone up in the box. Man coverage for the Falcons. The USC grad gives it to McCutcheon. McCutcheon on the delayed handoff, plunges the middle. No gain. Oh, a lot of concern on that Rams sideline. Delayed handoff. No, it's going to be Hayden on the quarterback draw now. Against zone coverage. 
Pat Hayden, the USC grad, and Hayden almost gets in. So Pat Hayden picks up seven, third and goal. Ortega with a touchdown saving tackle. Third and goal, draw to Hayden again. Shotgun, motion, man. Hayden, touchdown, and the USC grad plunges in for the Nest score from two yards out. They were keying McCutcheon. And Pat Hayden, who played in the World Football League for the South California Sun, Southern California Sun, which I didn't know till yesterday. Uh, there's the touchdown. Here's the replay in slow motion. So the Rams score on the Hayden. Draw out a shotgun. Touchdown. But the concern is for Joe Namath, who is injured and out for the rest of the game. 6-0 Rams. Hayden to hold. Septien to do the kicking. Septien puts it up. It's good. It's good. 7-0 Rams. Remember, if the Rams win, home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Namath, word from the sideline, he's got some banged up ribs. Now we have to probably, when we play week 14, we will not play Joe Namath if he's available. And get him to the playoffs, and Hayden will start. 7 0 Rams, Septien to kick off, 9 50 left. Flag on the play, flag on the play. So here's the kickoff. And taking a knee in the end zone is Farmer for Atlanta. Offsides Atlanta. We will decline. So the Falcons have it. First and ten at their twenty. I don't want I didn't want to kick over. Stand back and Thompson are your running backs. Barkowski under center. Mitchell the tight end. Jenkins and Francis your wideouts. We're gonna play four three. And we're gonna play the run. Man coverage. First and ten for the Falcons. Barkowski to throw. Sideline pattern complete to Francis. He's got the first down and he steps out. 14 yards. Barkowski to Francis. First and 10 for the Falcons at their 34. Staggered backfield now of Thompson and Stanback. Usual suspects at tight end and wide receiver. Again, we'll play 4-3 man run. Barkowski, it's a run. Stand back, bounces to the outside. He's going to lose one. He's going to lose one. Cody Brooks brings down Stand back as he got knocked back. And that'll be second and 11 now for the Falcons. 9-15 and counting in the first quarter. 7-0 Rams. Three wide receivers set. Farmer comes on the field. He's the slot receiver. Stand back, the lone running back behind Barkowski, who's under center. Second and 11, we're going to play pass, and we're going to go to nickel. So Cromwell will march, uh, match up against Farmer in the slot. Our defensive line will play in tight. Linebackers and safety to read and react. Barkowski pitches to stand back. Stand back breaks a couple of tackles. He's got the first 11-yard gain for stand back. Tackled by Jim Youngblood. First and 10 for the Falcons at their 44. They break the huddle. Staggered backfield of Stanback and Thompson. We're going to go 4 3. Man run coverage. Barkowski takes a snap. It's a handoff to Stanback. Stanback bounces to the outside. Cuts back middle. He's going to pick up seven or eight. It's an eight-yard gain. Good blocking by that Atlanta Falcon offensive line. Again, Jack Young, uh, Jim Youngblood on the tackle. Second and two. Second and two from the Los Angeles 48. Youngblood and Brzezinski will blitz. And it's going to be a run blitz on second and two, four, three man coverage. Put, put, put. 
Barkowski gives it the stand back, and he burrows left for three yards, and that is enough for a first down, and the Falcons move the chains. Freddie Dreyer on the tackle. Under eight minutes of play in the first quarter, 7 nothing Rams. If you're just joining us, Joe Namath went out of the game with bruised ribs, and Pat Hayden is now playing. He scored the touchdown on a quarterback draw. Split backfield now for the Falcons on first and 10. And we'll play 4-3 man run coverage. Brzezinski, Youngblood, will, and Robertson will blitz. So it's an all-out linebacker run blitz on first and 10. Burkowski rolls away from the pressure. Incomplete. He was looking for Francis on the medium cross. Well defended by Thomas. It'll be second and 10 with 6.54 to play in the first quarter. Split backfield. Thompson and Stanback. Mitchell's the tight end. Jenkins and Francis, your wide out. Steve Barkowski under center. Second and 10. We will now switch to a 3-4. We take a defensive lineman off the field and bring in a linebacker man pass coverage and young blood jim young blood will blitz second and ten barkowski it's a sweep stand back gains the corner he's out of bounds near the 40 five yard gain and they will spot it at the 40 third and five under seven to play in the first quarter Falcons go to a four-wide receiver set. Farmer and Francis to one side. Jenkins and Reichman to the other. Stand back the lone setback behind Barkowski, who's under center. The Rams go with nickel man coverage. Linebackers, Youngblood and Reynolds to read and react. And the free safety, Simpson to read and react. Big third and five here for the Falcons. Barkowski back to pass. Lots of time. Throws middle. Incomplete. Good job by the Rams. They were all over that pass play to Jenkins. Elmendorf swatted it away. Fourth and five, and the Falcons will punt from the Rams 40. We're going to watch for the fake. And James will try to drop it inside the five and pin the Rams back. Punt is on its way. I think he got a little too much oomph. And that's going to go into the end zone for a touchback. So the Rams take over. First and 10 at their 20. Pat Hayden in for the injured Joe Namath. Two tight ends set. Young and Nelson are the tight ends. Harold Jackson, the lone wideout. Capaletti, the up back. McCutcheon behind him. Counter left, Johnny Capaletti on first down and 10. Jackson to go in motion. Man coverage for the Falcons. Counter left, Capaletti has a little bit of room. Picks up three. Falcons quickly close on Johnny Capaletti, who's back from injury. Murrow on the tackle, second and seven. Two tight end set again, two tight end set. And again, they're going to go John Capaletti, counter left. Motion, man coverage. Here goes Johnny Capaletti, and he's going to pick up another three. Oh, bad spot. Only two yards. Murrow again tackles Capaletti. Now leave third and five. Third and five. Rams go pro set split backfield of McCutcheon and Capaletti. Jackson and Waddy out wide. Jackson will not go in motion. Third and five. Hayden on the quarterback draw. He's under center. Barks out the signals. The USC grad. And he takes off running and he will not get there. Four yards. Fourth and one. At the Rams 29. So the Rams play conservative there with a 7 nothing lead. And on fourth and one, they'll send out the punt team. And here's Walker to punt. Good job by the Falcons' defense. Walker gets off the punt, angling towards the sidelines. And from the 25 comes Lawrence, and he is hit after only a two-yard return on the 44-yard punt by Walker. Here come the Falcons. 
Split backfield, Barkowski under center. Your backs are Thompson and Standback. Wideouts, Jenkins and Francis. Mitchell's the tight end. 4-18 left in the first quarter. 7-0 Los Angeles Rams. We're going to play a 4-3. Man keying the run. Pitch to Standback, and he's going to struggle as he's knocked out of bounds. Two-yard gain. Second and eight for the Falcons at their 31. They stick with the split backfield. We're going to go from the 4-3 to the 3-4, and we will play man-pass coverage. Linebackers to read and react. No blitzers. Barkowski to throw. Pumps, throws, short, middle, incomplete. He was looking for stand back out of the backfield. Flag on the field. Illegal block by the Falcons. It'll either be 2nd and 23 or 3rd and 8. We will take 2nd and 23 from the Atlanta 16. So we back up the Atlanta Falcon bus. Farmer comes onto the field. He's the slot receiver. Rams match that with their nickel man coverage. So Cromwell will be on Farmer. 2nd and 23. We're going to stunt our defensive line up front. Linebackers to read and react along with this free safety Simpson. Barkowski barks out the signals. It's a pitch to Steinbeck, and he's going to go to the right and pick up two. Jack Youngblood on the tackle. No relation to Jim. It's now third and 21. Third and 21. Three deep zone. We're going to play a three deep zone. Barkowski's in shotgun. Farmer and Francis to one side, Jenkins to the other. Mitchell's the tight end. Stand back next to Barkowski in shotgun formation. Three deep zone. Looking to clog up the passing lane. Shotgun snap. Barkowski, middle. Incomplete. They try to find a short seam uh, to stand back. Out of the backfield, hope he would run a long, long way, but it did not work. Incomplete. Fourth and 21, and the Falcons will have to punt, but ha Haskell Standback limps off the field. Ellie comes in at halfback. Word from the sideline is we should see Standback once again. James to punt for the Falcons. He's punting from about his two. He, oh, a low-line drive punt. Rams should have excellent field position. Cullen Bryant from the 40. 50 down the sideline. He crosses. 30. He can go all the way. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cullen Bryant. Touchdown. Cullen Bryant, 58-yard touchdown on the punt. What a run by Cullen Bryant. What blocking by the Rams. Here's the replay in actual speed. A low-line drive punt. Cullen Bryant coming up, makes the catch around the 40, gets to the sideline, and he is off to the races. Last man standing is the punter, and he misses, and Cullen Bryant from 58 yards takes the nest tee plunge. It is 13-0 Rams. And the Coliseum goes insane. They smell home field advantage throughout the NFC playoffs, but there is still concern for Joe Namath, who went out injured for the game, and word from the sideline, bruised ribs. We hope they're only bruised and not broke. Here's the extra point by Septien Hayden to hold. The kick is up. And good, 14-0 Rams. With 2.50 to play in the first quarter, The Rams have a comfortable two-touchdown lead. Septien will kick off and kick deep. Septien strikes the ball. Can the Falcons answer? If you're a Rams fan, you hope not. From the end zone comes Farmer. 10 to the out. 20, 25, and brought down. So a 29-yard a return. Tackled at the 26. Falcons take over first and 10. Eli in for the injured standback. Thompson, the other running back. It's a split backfield. Mitchell and Jenkins 
and Francis are the receivers, Mitchell being the tight end. We're going to go 3-4, and we're going to play pass on first and 10. Man coverage. Barkowski under center. Takes the snap. Pitches to Thompson. Thompson cuts back. Picks up three. It was a pitch left. Tackled by Jack Reynolds. Second and seven. Under three minutes of play in the first quarter. Again, split. it's a split backfield. We're going to stick with the three, four on second and seven. Play man pass. Barkowski to throw. Pumps. Throws to the sideline. Almost picked off by Brzezinski. The linebacker helping out on the pass defense of Francis. Third and seven. Third and seven. Atlanta goes to shotgun formation. Three wide receivers set. Jenkins to one side. Farmer and Francis to the other. Mitchell's the tight end. Eli next to Barkowski and shotgun. Rams will go nickel. Man coverage. Defensive line. Out wide. Linebackers to read and react. Along with the safety. Shotgun snap. Barkowski. It's a run. And it's a horrible play call. That is a loss of two. Eli is chased out of bounds. At the Atlanta 27. Fourth and nine. And here comes the Falcons punt team. And James back on the field just moments ago. Cullen Bryant returned a punt for 58 yards and a touchdown. 128 left in the first quarter. James, another low line drive punt. Cullen, no, it's going to go out of bounds. The Rams let it go out of bounds. A 40 yard punt by James. Rams take over first and 10 after 33. The youngster, Pat Hayden, out of USC, under center for the injured Joe Namath. Split backfield of McCutcheon and Capaletti. Nelson at tight end, Jackson and Waddy. Are your wideouts counter right? Lawrence McCutcheon on first and ten, and there's McCutcheon. He has a bit of room, but the Falcons quickly close and hold him to a three-yard gain. Looked like that was going to pop for more Easterling on the tackle. It's going to be second and seven. Hey, diddle diddle. Johnny Capaletti up the middle. So Johnny Capaletti will attack the middle here out of the split backfield. It's a run blitz, and Capaletti is smothered under. No gain. Ortega and company stand Capaletti up straight and bring him down. Third and seven. Word from the Falcon sideline is stand back is okay and will be coming back in the game when next the Falcons are on the field offensively. So third and seven. Screen to Lawrence McCutcheon on third and seven. Hayden back. Screen. McCutcheon has it. McCutcheon is close to the first, but doesn't get it. They needed seven. He got six. McLean with the first down saving tackle as it's fourth and one. No decision here. The punt team is sent out with a two-touchdown lead. But that will end the first quarter. So after one quarter of football, the Rams 14, the Falcons nothing. But the big news, Joe Namath went out on the first series after throwing a bomb to Harold Jackson, who was first in goal. And he got roughed up on the, I think it was a third play after that, second play. So once again, if the Rams win, they have home field advantage throughout the NFC playoffs. And now time for a station identification break. You're watching to and listening to Pro Strategy Football 2021, the 1977 Rams. What if Joe Namath played the whole season and he just went out hurt? That's kind of funny. Week 13, Rams Falcons on the Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. If you're enjoying the stream, smack that like button. If you'd like, subscribe. If you do subscribe... I suggest hitting the bell for notification. We'd also, when we go live, we'd also like to thank the original Grognard who's here in the chat. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. Jack Dawson, another fine YouTube content creator. And, of course, our good friend Tribes Fan 879 all things Stratomatic Baseball Card and Dice. 
we begin the second quarter, and the Rams will punt on fourth and one. 14 0 Rams. Falcons coming after it, but Walker gets the punt off. And here is Reichman on the return, and not much of a return as check your chicklets, son. He got popped. Only a one yard return. Super Bowl tournament, aka Mike in the truck, has joined us. Hope all is well, Mike. He is one of the wonderful mod creators of all the free seasons. Every season in Pro Strategy Football 2021 is free. And guess what? In the upcoming Pro Strategy Football 2022, guess how much every season costs? How much does every season cost, Al Red Sox fan? They're absolutely free also. And it's going to be bigger and better with more formations and all kinds of cool stuff that the community has asked for and the developer of this wonderful game, Carrie Bats, is providing. So coming to a PC or mobile near you this coming year, Pro Strategy Football 2022. But back to our game, Pro Strategy Football 2021. And I look forward to getting 2022. Such a fun game at a very reasonable cost, under $20. First and 10 for the Rams. I'm sorry for the Falcons at their 21. And they're going to come out trying to throw the ball. Stan Back's back on the field. He got a little shook up there. Barkowski's under center. Jenkins and Reichman to one side. Francis and Farmer to the other. We match their four wide receivers set with nickel man coverage. Our defensive line will play in tight. Linebackers and safety to read and react. And we're going to play pass on first and ten. Barkowski, it's a run. And Stan Back goes to the left. On the counter, picks up three, tackled by Freddie Dreyer. Good job by the four down linemen on of the Rams on defense. Second and seven from the Atlanta 24 for the Falcons. Thompson comes back in along with Mitchell. Standard pro set, two wide receivers and a tight end, Jenkins and Francis. Second and seven. Rams go to a 3-4 man coverage pass. Linebackers to read and react. Barkowski, it's a screen. Thompson is smothered under. Two-yard loss. Rob Brzezinski kibosh that play. And the Rams winning the day at the line of scrimmage. Namath is hurt, Mike, in the truck. He got hurt on the first series after we threw a bomb. I think it was the second play after the bomb. Could have been the first play after the bomb. But yeah, Namath is out for the game. And uh, if we win, or when we win this game, we're up 14-0. I don't know if I'm going to start him in week 14. I don't know, because I don't want him hurt for the playoffs. Now, Hayden is the statistically better rated quarterback, but we're playing the what if Joe Namath played the whole year. And we've kept him upright for the majority of the year, and now he's hurt. I think he's only out for this game, though, but we'll, I, it only said the game. So, Third and nine for the Falcons after that two-yard loss on the screen. Falcons will go four wide receivers, trips to one side, Farmer, Jenkins, and Reichman. Francis, the lone wide out, to the other. Rams go to nickel. Man coverage on third and nine. Defensive line will... Stunt. Reynolds will blitz. Here we go, third and nine. Barkowski gives it to Stein back up the middle to the left. He picks up six, but Elmendorf makes the torpedo tackle to deny the first down. And it will be fourth and three, a six yard gain for Stein back. And James will punt for the Falcons. James gets the punt off. Another low-line drive pump. That's carrying a little more. And he's angling for the sideline. Goes out inside the 30. Remember, Cullen Bryant went 58 yards on a punt return to give the Rams their second touchdown. Hayden scored the first on a draw, taking over for Joe Namath after 
Joe Hollywood Namath was injured. So it's Pat Hayden under center. First and 10 for the Rams at their 29. Hayden, play action. Let's see what the youngster can do. Capaletti and McCutcheon will stay in the block. Nelson will run a post. Waddy's running a fly. Jackson running a deep corner route. And we're going to look for Jackson on the deep corner again. Hayden, play action. He has time. He throws. Incomplete. A little too tall for Harold Jackson. Defended by Brown. Second and ten. Second and ten. Delayed handoff to Johnny Capaletti out of the split backfield for the Rams on 2nd and 10. Capaletti. Capaletti has a little bit of room. Four yards. Bailey on the tackle. 3rd and 6 for the Rams at their 33-14. Nothing Los Angeles. Rams win. They will clinch home field advantage throughout the playoffs in the NFC. 3rd and 6. We're going to go one back, and it's McCutcheon. So Capaletti goes off the field. Jesse comes in, uh, comes on the field. He's a slot receiver. Third and six from the Rams, 33. Delayed handoff to Lawrence McCutcheon on third and six. Hayden gives it to McCutcheon, and McCutcheon will pick up three. And now leave fourth and three. The tackle by Moreau. Rams will punt. And we're going to start opening up the offense on the next series. They're keying the run now. Walker to punt. My God, that was a balloon snap. And Lawrence is nailed. Holy cow. As he caught the ball, several Rams plow him over. 38-yard punt. No return. Check your chiclets, son. Falcons take over first and 10 at their 26. 11.40 left in the half. They trail by two touchdowns. Rams going 4-3 against the split backfield for the Falcons. And we're going to play the run on first down. Thompson and Stanback are the backs. Barkowski to throw. Short, middle, incomplete. Was looking for Mitchell at tight end. Elmendorf was all over that. Second and 10. We'll now go 3-4. We take a, lineman, a defensive lineman off, bring on a linebacker, and we will play man-to-man -man pass coverage. They have their split backfield of Thompson and Stanback. Jenkins and Francis, your wideouts. Mitchell's the tight end. Rams looking pass. Barkowski rolls. He's going to throw. Incomplete. Incomplete. Looking for Jenkins on the medium. Looked like a medium hitch. Thomas on the coverage. Third and ten. We'll go nickel man coverage now. Nickel man coverage. We're not going to double. We could double somebody. Who do we want to double? We could double somebody. Let's double Francis, even though we have Jackson on him. Actually, let's double Jenkins. We're going to double Jenkins. Alfred Jenkins. We're going to double him. So you can see the free safety Simpson comes over to play that way. Our defensive line on third and ten is going to play out wide. We're going to try to get pressure. Hopefully they don't run a draw up the middle. Here we go. Nickel doubling Jenkins. Defensive line out wide. Man coverage. Barkowski. It's a handoff to stand back. But the linebackers quickly react and stuff him for only a two-yard gain. Cody Jones actually, while the linebackers slowed him up, Jones, a defensive lineman, cleans up with the tackle. Fourth and eight. And James will punt for the Falcons from about his 11. Rams come after. James gets the punt off. Angling for the sideline once again. And here comes Billy Waddy. He'll only pick up a few. 42-yard punt by James. Two-yard return by Waddy. Rams have it at their 32. 10-47 left in the first half. 14-0 Rams. Rams will come out with a two-tight end set. Play action fake. We're going over the top with Hayden. Jackson. We'll go in motion. He's going to run that deep corner route. 
Nelson will run the post to try to occupy one or both safeties. Young, Capaletti, and McCutcheon will all stay in the block. Play action, fake, deep, corner route. Jackson, zone coverage. Hayden has time. He throws. Oh, incomplete. A horrible pass by Hayden. Almost picked off by Brown. Hayden claps his hands. Bad pass. He knows. Second and ten. Hey, diddle, diddle. Lawrence McCutcheon up the middle of the two tight end set. Jackson goes in motion. Man coverage. And it's McCutcheon behind the blocking of Capaletti. He struggles for three. Lewis on the stop. Third and seven. Third and seven for the Rams out there. 35. Rams offense is a little dysfunctional with no Joe Namath. Shotgun, four wide receivers set. Jackson will go in motion. So it's Scales and Jackson to one side. Waddy and Jesse to the other. Third and seven. Screen to Lawrence McCutcheon on third and seven out of shotgun. Shotgun snap. Zone coverage. McCutcheon has it. He's got the first down and more. As he crosses midfield, knocked out around the 43. They'll spot it at the 44. So the screen out of shotgun goes for 21 yards. Pat Hayden, very happy about that. As the screen beats the two deep zone pass, first and 10 for the Falcons, uh, for the Rams at the Falcons 44. We'll stick with the shotgun. And it'll be a delayed handoff to Lawrence McCutcheon out of shotgun. Everyone up for the Falcons. Man coverage. Here's the delayed handoff. McCutcheon has some room. He's got the first down. He's racing for the end zone, but tripped up from behind by Lawrence. That is a gain of 15. The Rams offense clicking. Looking to put up another score before the half. McCutcheon will go out. And the youngster out of UCLA, Wendell Tyler, will come in. It'll be a delayed handoff to Wendell Tyler. Zone coverage, and here's Wendell Tyler, and Tyler will only pick up two. Falcons reacted much better to that on first and ten. Humphrey on the tackle. Second and eight. Rams go back to their pro set split backfield. McCutcheon had his breather. He's back on the field with Johnny Capaletti. Jackson will not go in motion. And it's going to be Capaletti on the counter left on second and eight. Zone coverage for the Falcons. Capaletti on the counter left, and he gets hit. No gain. Murrow and company stop Johnny Capaletti at the line. Third and eight. Third and eight. Jackson will go in motion. Third and eight. Medium pass. Nelson, the tight end, will be the primary receiver. And he's going to run a sideline. Capaletti will block. Uh, Jackson is going to run across. And again, we're trying to occupy a safety here. Capaletti to block, McCutcheon to block. Play action fake. We're looking for Nelson on the sideline pattern. Third and eight from the Atlanta 27. Zone coverage for the Falcons. Hayden throws and incomplete. Ortega got back to clog that passing lane. So fourth and eight from the Atlanta 27. Raphael Septien. 58% chance of the field goal. We're going to run the fake field goal. You know how we like to run the fake field goal. And Hayden doesn't look like he throws the outs too well. He's going to look for Nelson. Fake field goal looking for Nelson. Hayden. Nelson. Complete. Nelson racing for the end zone. Tripped up inside.
Inside the 10, 17 yards, Hayden to Nelson, first and goal for the Rams. And that will bring the Coliseum crowd to life once again. Here's the replay in slow motion. Hayden fakes the field goal. And there's the pass to Nelson. They couldn't hook up on the prior play, but they hooked up there for 17 yards. Ball spotted at the Atlanta 10, first and goal. Joining us here at the LA Coliseum, Dave Little. Check out that wonderful YouTube content creator. Hello, Uncle Dave Little and JT. Hope all is well. First and goal for the Rams. If you're just joining us, our beloved Joe Namath is out. He got hurt in week 13. Only out for this game. I might not start him in the final week. We win this game. We clinch home field throughout the NFC playoffs. So Pat Hayden, who actually started the majority of the games in reality, is under center. He has rushed for a touchdown. The other touchdown came on a 58-yard punt return by Cullen Bryant. So again, we're going to go pro set Split backfield, McCutcheon and Capaletti, Jackson and Waddy, your wideouts. Nelson's the tight end. Pat Hayden will call his own number. Quarterback drawn, first and ten. Motion with Jackson. Man coverage for the Falcons. And Hayden, oh my lord! Hayden gets nailed right under the jaw. His helmet goes askew. That's a loss of four. Ortega steps on Pat Hayden as... He gets up, and there's some pushing and shoving. Remember, they knocked out Namath, and now they're looking to take out the youngster from USC, Pat Hayden. So it's now second and goal from the Atlanta 14, under seven to play in the half. Short pass to Johnny Capaletti. Zone coverage. Hayden throws the other way to Waddy. Oh, for six yards. So Pat Hayden liked the matchup. He saw with Waddy tackled by Bias. Third and goal from the Atlanta eight. Medium pass. Play action fake. Capaletti, let's just make Waddy the primary for a second. Capaletti will stay in the block. McCutcheon, let's have McCutcheon run a hook. That should occupy, I would think they're going to go to McCutcheon. That should occupy Ortega. Uh, Jackson is going to run across. We're going to look for Nelson. On the cross. Play action fake. We're looking for the touchdown to the tight end, Nelson. Man coverage. Touchdown. Hayden! Touchdown to Nelson! Touchdown. Yeah! When I saw the man coverage, I knew we had it. I knew we had it. So Hayden throws his first touchdown pass of the season. Eight yards to Nelson, the tight end. And here's the replay in slow motion. Man coverage. You see it there. As Jackson went in motion, and they were very concerned about McCutcheon out of the backfield. And we hit Nelson Touchdown. on the medium cross for the Nest T plunge. It is 20 to nothing Rams. Septien to kick. Hayden to hold. It is up and through. 21 nothing Rams. So Pat Hayden has run for one, and now he has tossed for one. Septien to kick off. 543 left in the first half of football. Falcons setting up for the return as I take a sip of water. Here comes Farmer. He's crossed the 20 and not much more. 16 yard return. Tackled at the 23. We're going to play nickel. We're going to not double anybody. And we're going to play pass. Our defensive line will play normal. No blitzer. Nickel 
man pass coverage. Falcons split backfield. Thompson and stand back. Francis and Jenkins, your wideouts. Mitchell's the tight end. Barkowski under center. And this is going to be a penalty on the Falcons. Incomplete. Incomplete. Second down. Penalty. We can make it first and 15 at the 18. That's what we'll do. We'll accept the penalty. So they're going I formation now. So we're going to have our defensive line playing tight. We're going to stick with the nickel. Pass coverage. Barkowski to throw. They're down 21. Throwing to the sidelines. Almost picked off by Jackson. Pass intended for Jenkins. And Alfred Jenkins goes limping off the field. Word from the sideline. He'll be back soon. McIntyre comes in. Four wide receivers set on second and 15. McIntyre to one uh, McIntyre and Reichman to one side, Farmer and Francis to the other. Stand back the lone setback, Barkowski under center. Defensive line in tight, nickel man coverage pass for the Rams on second and 15. Barkowski looks throw short Incomplete. middle. He just can't Third connect down. up. He was looking for McIntyre who's in for the for the injured Jenkins. Third and 15. Defensive line will stunt. Reynolds will blitz. Man pass coverage. Barkowski under duress. Throws. Almost picked off. Off the hands of Jackson. Flag on the field. The Falcons screaming. Pass interference. And it's holding. Holding on Atlanta. We will decline. Fourth and 15, and James will punt for the Falcons from his goal line. James punts as the first half of football nearing an end. Here comes Billy Waddy. He crosses the 40. 45-yard punt by James. Five-yard return by Waddy. Rams have it. First and 10 at their 42. Rams going for the kill shot. Two tight ends set. Play action fake. Long pass. Young, Capaletti, and McCutcheon will all stay in the block. We're looking for Nelson on the post. Hayden. Zone coverage. Hayden with lots of time. Throwing the post to Nelson. Complete! First down! First down. Gain of 20. Brown really put a pop on Nelson, but he made the catch. And now let's go to burn clock. Stay in bounds, burn clock. Ball first and 10 at the Atlanta 38. Hey, diddle, diddle, Lawrence McCutcheon up the middle. Zone coverage for the Falcons. And it's McCutcheon following the Capilletti block. He's got the first down. first down. A quick move and acceleration by Lawrence McCutcheon. Picks up 10. Ortega on the tackle. First and 10 for the Rams at the Falcon 28. They break the huddle again in that two tight end set. Hey, diddle, diddle. McCutcheon up the middle. Capilletti to lead the way. Capaletti throws the block. McCutcheon bounces to the outside. Down. He picked up two. The, the middle was clogged up, so McCutcheon bounced to the outside. Two yards is better than none. It's second and eight. Second and eight. Capaletti will get the carry, and we'll go counter right for the first time with Johnny Capaletti, Heisman Trophy winner out of Penn State, 1973. Put, put. Man coverage, here goes Capaletti, and he is swarmed under. No gain, Ortega and company. Johnny on the spot to bring down Johnny Capaletti. Capaletti back from injury. Third and eight. We'll take it close to the two-minute warning. Third and eight. Pass. Short pass. Uh, you know what? I don't like that short pass. Let's go medium pass. Uh, 
Capilady and McCutcheon will stay in the block. Young's going to run a square out. He's going to be, that's our backup tight end. He's going to be the primary. You see Jackson coming across. He runs across. Nelson, who's been burning them, he's going to run across. That should occupy the linebackers and the safeties. Young, not that good of a pass receiver, but we're hoping to catch him with their pants down. And if it works, it's going to pop. Play action fake. We're looking for Young on the out pattern. Jackson in motion, man coverage. Hayden looking, looking, and he threw to Jackson anyway. Hayden didn't have confidence to throw to Young. Incomplete, fourth and eight. Two-minute warning before the half. 21-0 Rams. And now the always adventurous Raphael Septien, and we're going to kick this one. Hayden to hold. Will Septien make it? 58% chance. Septien puts it up. And it's good! So everyone says a Hail Mary, and Ralphiel Septien puts it through 24 0 Rams. Under two minutes of play in the first half. Septien to kick off. Rams smelling home field advantage throughout the NFC playoffs. From the goal line comes Moriarty. Moriarty zigzagging, brought down just past the 20, a 19-yard return. Jenkins is A-OK. -okay. He's back on the field for the Rams. We're going to play nickel man pass coverage. Linebackers and safety to read react. Defensive line to stunt. Barkowski throws incomplete. Second down. So, again, four wide receivers set. Jenkins, Reichman to one side, Farmer, Francis to the other. Stand back the lone, set back, Barkowski under center. And this time we're going to shift under. Nickel man coverage, no blitzers. Barkowski looking quick out, incomplete. Falcons just can't get anything done against this Rams defense. He was looking for Jenkins. Again, they'll stick with shotgun. Mitchell comes on the field, so he's back in at tight end. Uh, we're going to blitz Reynolds this time. Third and ten. Let's get a pick six. Shotgun snap to Barkowski. They pick up the blitz. He throws. Sideline incomplete. That was a medium out intended for Jenkins. Well covered by Thomas. And here comes James to punt. Rams are going to get the ball one more time with three timeouts before the half. And Billy Waddy only picks up a few. Actually, only one yard. Good punt by James. 48 yards, one yard return. 24 nothing Rams. Hey, diddle, diddle. McCutcheon up the middle. 24 nothing. Zone coverage. McCutcheon has a lot of room. He's got the first down and more. McCutcheon went about six yards. He shimmy shammed for another nine. He made that shimmy sham move, picked up another 9, 15 yards. Ball at the Los Angeles, 46. Rams will call timeout. Hey, diddle, diddle, McCutcheon up the middle again. They're playing a two-deep zone. They're probably looking past, and it's McCutcheon. McCutcheon will pick up seven. Nope, six yards, second and four, second and four. Rams will use their second timeout. Second and four. Long pass. We're going to look for Young on the fly pattern. Oh, we got Making the primary. Jackson will run a post. Actually, let's give a Young a corner route. Long corner. Play action fake. Capaletti and McCutcheon to stay in the block. Second and four. Hayden looking to go over the top to the back up tight end. They pick up the rush. Hayden throws. Complete to Young. And he is brought down near the 20. 27 yards. Hayden to Young. 
Brown on the tackle, and the Rams are in business once again. And the Rams will use their final timeout. One oh eight left. Ball spotted at the Atlanta twenty one. Rinse and repeat, same play. Deep corner route to the backup tight end young. Jackson in motion, man coverage. Hayden under duress, and he is sacked. Hayden is sacked. Hayden is sacked. That is a loss of seven. Clock going tick, tick, tick. Rams get up. They're gonna go to the hurry up now. No timeouts. Fifty seconds. Nelson on the post. Zone coverage. Hayden, lots of time. Throwing the post. Nelson makes the catch. First down. First down. Nelson makes the catch. Brown on the tackle. 28 seconds. They're in the hurry up. Nelson on the post again. Man coverage. Here's the blitz. Hayden. Under duress, he scrambles, and he's knocked out of bounds. Second down. Seven-yard loss, second and 17. 17 seconds left. Shotgun, four wide receivers set. Scales on the fade. Falcons defense tiring. 17 seconds left. Zone coverage. Hayden to Scales. Incomplete. Third down. Third down. 10 seconds left. Again, the fade to Scales. 10 seconds. Zone coverage. Shotgun snap. Hayden. Scales. Oh, he doesn't get in! And he didn't get out of bounds! No, he does get out of bounds! He gets out of bounds. 16 yards. He stretched for the pylon. Didn't make it. Five seconds left. Fourth and one. From the Atlanta two. We should kick the field goal. We should kick the field goal. But we're jerks. We're not going to kick the field goal. We're running up the score. That's what we like to do. It's professional football. It ain't peewee football. We should kick the field goal. Could come back to haunt us. You know what? We'll kick the field goal. Here comes Septien. 89% chance of making it. He's missed these before. Chip shot for Septien. Aid in the hole. And Septien puts it through, 27-0. And that's the half. So the Rams, a first half of pure dominance. But the bad news, Joe Namath, bruised ribs, out for the game. Pat Hayden has looked sharp, the youngster out of USC. As we prepare for the third quarter, we go to our station identification break. You're watching Pro Strategy Football 2021, 1977 NFL replay what if joe namath played the whole season for the rams ironically he gets hurt in week 13 rams falcons if you're enjoying the stream please smack that like button if you want you can subscribe if you do subscribe i recommend hitting the bell for notification when we go live i like to say hello to captain carl 8 jt uncle dave little that's dave little check out his wonderful youtube channel super bowl tournament a.k.a. Mike in the Truck. Check out his YouTube channel. He creates many a fine free season for the community for Pro Strategy Football 2021 and Pro Strategy Football 2022 coming out this year, I believe, in August. I don't know yet. We hope to have a chat, a big chat, with Super Bowl Tournament, a mod season creator, and a couple other people in the mod creating community, as well as Carrie Batts, the developer, we've had them on, uh, Mike and Carrie on before, and we're going to have them on a lot more people on this time around. It's going to be a lot of fun, so make sure you join us for that. Also, check out the original Grognard. 
YouTube channel, Jack Dawson and Tribes Fan 879. So we begin the third quarter. And the Rams, if it's in the end zone, will take a knee. So Steinfort to kick off. 27-0 Rams, and we're going to go quick in this second half. From the goal line comes Wendell Tyler. And Tyler gets past the 20, knocked down at the 25. So Hayden under center. And let's go clock options here. Stay in bounds, burn clock. Pro set. McCutcheon and Capaletti, split backs. Nelson, Jackson, Waddy are the receivers. Nelson being the tight end. And it's going to be a trap play to Johnny Capaletti. Jackson to go in motion. Put, put, put. First and ten. Zone coverage. And Capaletti on the trap. He's going to pick up six. Second down. Tackled by Lewis. Second and four. Rams taking their sweet time. Capaletti on the trap again. Capaletti put, coming back from injury. Man coverage for the Falcons. It's a run blitz, and Capaletti busts through the run third blitz. Down. Picks up three. Third and one. Again, the Rams taking their time. Third and one. Hayden, Pat Hayden in for the injured. Why? We want to give the ball to Pat Hayden. Okay, let's... We'll do it this way, then. Usually, you can just click on him. It's a quarterback sneak to Pat Hayden. Put, put, put. Zone coverage, and Hayden's got the first down and more! First down. Hayden pops up, signals first down, gain a nine. Rams continue to run clock. Capaletti. Counter left, Johnny Capaletti. Jackson will not go in motion. But Capaletti has a bit of room. First down as he crosses First midfield. Down. Pick up of 11. Brazina on the tackle. Rams continue to chew up clock. Delayed handoff to McCutcheon out of the split backfield. Zone coverage for the Falcons. McCutcheon plunges the middle. No gain. Lewis on the tackle. They'll take it under 12 minutes on the next snap of the ball. Second and 10, second and 10. Jackson to go in motion. Billy Waddy on the reverse. A little razzle-dazzle on second and 10. Man coverage. Here comes Waddy back the other way. Billy Waddy turns the corner, and he's going to pick up five or six. The five-yard gain. Humphrey on the tackle. A little razzle-dazzle. Third and five. Pat Hayden on the quarterback draw. Put, put, Under put. 11 to play. Man coverage for the Falcons. Hayden, Hayden, Hayden's close. Fourth down. Picks up three, fourth and two. Offense stays on the field. Offense stays on the field. Pitch left. Lawrence McCutcheon on fourth and two. Yes, we're going for it. Man coverage. The pitch to McCutcheon. And he is swarmed under. The Falcons did not appreciate it that the Rams were going for it. And they hit McCutcheon quite hard. That's a loss of three. Merlo gives him a kick in the shin. Falcons take over first and ten with 10.06 left to play in the third quarter. 27-0 Rams. We're going to play nickel man coverage pass. Farmer in the slot. It's a run for Steinbeck, and the Rams return the favor as Jack Youngblood and company bring down Steinbeck for a two-yard loss, and Jack steps on the groin of Steinbeck. Four wide receivers set. Reynolds will blitz, and he's been told from the sideline to try to break Steve Barkowski's leg. Nickel man coverage. Here comes Reynolds, and oh, he just been picked off by Jimmy Youngblood! Oh! Boy, taking a hit as he released the ball was Barkowski, and Jimmy Youngblood stepped right in front of the would-be receiver for the pick. As Barkowski's kicked in his helmet, it's getting ugly here. That's the way we like it. So under 10 to play, Rams take over.
Corner route to Billy Waddy. Play action fake. Capaletti and McCutcheon stay in the block. Nelson and Jackson run post. Jackson will go in motion. Zone coverage. Hope to occupy the safeties here. Hayden with lots of time. He pumps. He's throwing post to Nelson. No, he hits Jackson on the post for 22 yards. And he is brought down at the Atlanta 19. So Hayden went to his third option as both Jackson and Nelson were running post. Waddy running a deep corner route. Dale Buckingham, how you doing? Hope all is well. If you're just joining us, Dale, uh, Joe Namath unfortunately got hurt. And Pat Hayden's in the game. Dive play out of the split backfield. Johnny Capaletti. Jackson to go in motion. First and 10 from the Atlanta 19. Under nine to play in the third quarter. Capaletti up the middle for three. Second down. Tackled by Humphreys. Rams continue to run clock. Capaletti again up the middle. Zone coverage for the Falcons. Johnny Capaletti takes the handoff. He struggles to pick up a yard. Humphrey was all over it, pushing and shoving again. Falcons not appreciating what the Rams are doing to them here at the Coliseum as they are feasting upon the poultry known as the Atlanta Falcons. Third and six. They stick with the split backfield. Third and six. Sweep right. Uh, Lawrence McCutcheon. Jackson will motion left, and we're going to sweep right behind Johnny Capaletti to the right. Put, put, put. There goes Jackson. Man coverage. McCutcheon turns a corner. First down, and he gets inside the five. An 11-yard run for McCutcheon. Watch how we set this up. Jackson goes motion one way. It's man coverage. We got it, baby. Look at the block thrown by Johnny Capaletti as they seal off the inside, and McCutcheon gets to the outside first and goal from the Atlanta four. Under eight to play in the third quarter. Capaletti, sweep left. Jackson will not go in motion. Can Capaletti take the nest T plunge? And it's Johnny Capaletti. He only picks up. No, they'll spot it. No gain. Rams continue to run clock. Trap play, Capaletti. Falcons defense tiring. Capaletti, touchdown, Johnny Capaletti. What a way to come back from injury. Four-yard touchdown run for the Heisman Trophy winner out of Penn State, John Capaletti. Here's the Nest T plunge in slow motion. Great job by the offensive line. Capaletti saw the hole, and he goes through for the score. 33 to nothing. Rams. Septien to kick. 6-18 left in the third quarter. We have given it's good. the Rams' defense explicit instructions to break Steve Barkowski's legs if they come out throwing the ball. Septian will kick deep. 34-0 Rams. Home field advantage is right there for the Rams for the playoffs. From the two comes Farmer. Rams bearing down on Farmer. Farmer zigzags. He's brought down near the 25. They'll spot it at the 26. It was a 21-yard return. As we're going to blitz Reynolds, and we're going after Barkowski, we have brought word to the Falcons' sidelines that they should lay down, and we'll go easy on them, but they want to pass. Heaven help them. We're going to start injuring players. That's the way we play. Here we go. Nickel man coverage. Shotgun snap to Barkowski. Reynolds blitz. Barkowski almost throws another pick. Penalty. Penalty. Holding. Defensive holding on the Rams. They don't like the call. That's the only way the Falcons will pick up a first down. So it's first and 10 from the Atlanta 31. Farmer in the slot. Stand back the lone setback. Mitchell the tight end. Jenkins and Francis the wideouts. Nickel man coverage. Pass. No blitzers. Put, put, put. 
Barkowski to throw. He's looking under duress. He fires complete to Francis. Francis came back to help out his quarterback. Gain of five. Second and five. Tackled by Jackson. We continue to play nickel man coverage. Pass. Barkowski gives it to Steinbeck. Steinbeck. Oh, Steinbeck! No, my lord! What a pop! The ball comes loose, and the Rams have the pigskin. Steinbeck getting up. He's a bit groggy. What a hit he took. Here's the replay in slow motion. Watch that head snap back. And the Rams, as the head snapped, the ball popped loose, and the Rams come away with it. Rams have it first and 10 at the Atlanta 42. And let's get Capaletti out. It's going to be Phillips. And let's get McCutcheon out. So Phillips and Wendell Tyler are in the backfield. And a trap play to the fullback, Phillips. Put, put, put. And Phillips gets the carry. Phillips plows the middle, stays low, continues to grind, picks up five. Again, the trap play to Phillips. Under five to play in the third quarter. Phillips bounces outside, picks up one, third and four. Ortega's been a busy beaver, making tackles all over the field. Dale Buckingham says he's doing well. We always like to hear that. He says, you introduced me to a great game. I thank you, sir. Not only is a, a great game, it's a fun game. For a tremendous value of under $20, and all the seasons are free. So I'd like to thank the creator, Carrie Bates, and the mod community for making such wonderful seasons. And you can make your own teams. It's not that hard. little effort. Uh, you can tweak the ratings if you, don't, if you feel something's not right. But oh, all in all, Super Bowl tournament, a.k.a. Mike in the truck and Lee and I think there's another person who helps create. I think it's Lee, mostly Lee and Super Bowl Tournament. They create all the mod seasons for free. And then they have uh, such other wonderful people in the community who do the animation. Everything's done out of love for the game and free. So the people who purchase the game can enjoy it fully. Third and four. Third and four. Let's give the ball to Wendell Tyler. And we'll run a trap play for Wendell Tyler. Falcons defense tiring. UCLA grad will pick up two. Fourth and two from the Atlanta 34. Offense stays on the field. We're going to go shotgun. We're not throwing the ball. And we're going to go quarterback draw. Pat Hayden. Yes, we know it's fourth down. Quarterback draw on fourth and two. Outer shotgun. And Hayden's got it! He broke a tackle, and he picks up the two yards necessary to move the chains. Lewis on the stop. Pat Hayden in for the injured Joe Namath. We'll take it under three minutes in the third quarter. Delayed handoff to Wendell Tyler. And there goes Young Wendell, and he has stopped yard loss. Ortega, he hasn't quit on it. He hasn't quit. Second and 11. Two tight ends set now. Nelson and Young are your tight ends. Jackson's the wideout. I formation. Phillips the up back. Wendell Tyler behind him. Phillips will get the carry. Counter left. Second and 11. Clock going tick, tick, tick in the third quarter. Phillips will pick up nothing. In the words of Judge Smales, you'll get nothing, Spalding, and you'll like it. Third and 11. We'll take it under two minutes here in the third quarter. Third and 11. Screen. Oh, this is not a good option here. Yeah, I don't like that. We're not doing that. Jackson on the reverse. Third and 11. Two tight end set. Jackson. And he's going to get kiboshed. No gain. Fourth and 11. We take it under a minute. Ball at the Atlanta 33. For a ha let's look at the field goal attempt. 13% chance. Fake field goal pass. Why not? And Nelson to the out. Hayden to hold. Put, put. 
Fake field goal. Wide open. Oh! Oh, Hayden threw a little behind Nelson. Let's watch that replay in slow motion. He was wide open. I think he threw behind him. Incomplete. A little behind him. So turnover on downs. Nickel man coverage pass. Farmer in the slot. Three wide receiver set. Barkowski under duress. Escapes the rush. Hits Jenkins. Three yards. Tackled by Thomas. Again, we're just playing nickel man. Barkowski to throw. Quick hitter to Jenkins. Picks up a yard. Third and six. Nickel man coverage. Barkowski in shotgun. Barkowski middle. Incomplete. The Rams defense holds once again. Let's try to block the punt. Why not? James a punt. We're going to try to block the punt. We don't get there. Good news is we didn't kill the kicker. From the 15, Cullen Bryant down the sidelines. If you're just joining us, Cullen Bryant went 58 yards for a punt return touchdown. That was the Rams' second score. Seven seconds left in the third quarter. Phillips the up back. Tyler behind him. Hey, diddle, diddle. The UCLA grad, Wendell Tyler, up the middle. Two tight end set for the Rams. And Tyler bounces. The, oh, Tyler, stay in bounds. Out of bounds. Oh, God. Three seconds left in the third quarter. Pat Hayden on the sneak on second and eight. Nope, we let the clock run out. Beautiful. 15 more minutes of football. Rams annihilating the Falcons 34 to nothing. They're definitely covering the spread. And I think if we score a touch, uh, a field goal, we beat the over. We did that early on in the beginning of the game. We gave you the spread in the over-under. Station identification break. You're watching Pro Strategy Football 2021-1977 uh, NFL replay. Our Rams replay. What if Joe Namath played the whole year? Joe Namath got injured. <laughs> He should be back for week 14, though I don't think we'll play him in week 14 because we want him for the playoffs. That's the whole point. And Hayden's in. And you're watching on the Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, please do so. If you do subscribe, I suggest hitting the bell for notification so you know when we go live or post uh, any videos. We usually go live, though. And again, all the videos can be seen on demand. I'd like to thank Dale Buckingham, Dave Little. Please check out that YouTube channel. Captain Carl 8, thank you very much. JT, thank you. Our good friend, Super Bowl Tournament, a.k.a. In the tr a a Super Bowl Tournament, a.k.a. Mike in the Truck. Please check out his YouTube channel and the link provided on the page in the chat for all the wonderful free seasons created by the mod community for this game. The original Grognard, please check out his wonderful YouTube channel for military strategy and some golf and wrestling. Jack Dawson has a wonderful channel. And, of course, our good friend TribesFan879 for all things card and dice, Stratomatic Baseball. Final 15 minutes of football, second and eight for the Rams at their 27. We have the backups in, at least at running back. And Wendell Tyler will attack the middle again on second and eight. Wendell Tyler has... Oh, he fumbled, but Phillips comes away with the ball. So the Rams maintain possession. It'll be third and six. And let's make sure we're running clock. Yes, we are. Third and six. McCutcheon comes back in, and so does Capaletti. Oops. And we're going to run a screen on third and six. Screen to McCutcheon out of the two tight end set. Zone coverage. There's a screen. McCutcheon has it. And he will not get the first down, but he stays in bounds. Ball at the Rams 34. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. Knox says keep the offense on the field. So do I. Two tight end set. Inside run. Counter left. Johnny Capaletti. Fourth and one. Here we go. We got it. Capaletti. Oh, we don't got it. No, he did. He just gets it. 
Oh, he took a big hit, but was able to fall for it. Brezina, I thought, had him stop, but Capaletti makes the yard. We maintain possession. We continue to run clock. And it's, again, Capaletti counter left. Here comes Johnny. And Johnny's got a little more room there, but they quickly swarm him. Bring him down. Three-yard gain. Humphrey's on the tackle. McCutcheon. Counter right. Rams continue to run clock. And here's Lawrence McCutcheon. First down. A quick First cut down. back to the middle. Picks up seven. Easterling trips him up. We'll take it under 12 minutes to play. Capaletti on the dive. The fullback. Everyone up in the box to stop the run. Johnny Capaletti picks up a yard. Ortega. Ortega has to have uh, double-digit tackles, I would believe, by now. We'll take it to almost 11 minutes on the next snap. Second and nine. Second and nine. Counter right. Actually, counter left. Lawrence McCutcheon. A Falcons defense very tired. And McCutcheon has some room. First down. Great blocking. They sealed the inside off. McCutcheon counter left. Goes for nine. A tired Brezina on the tackle. First and ten for the Rams at the Falcon 45. Counter left, Johnny Capaletti. They continue to attack that side of the Falcons. Here's John Capaletti, and he busts for about seven or eight. Eight-yard gain. And again, Brezina on the tackle. Second and two. Capaletti comes out. Phillips comes in. McCutcheon comes out. Wendell Tyler comes in. Hey, diddle, diddle. Phillips up the middle. Everyone up in the box. Phillips. He's close. Third down. But he only picks up one. He needed to third and one. We take it to about nine minutes. Third and one. Why? Because I'm a jerk. Play action fake. Young stays in the block. Nelson stays in the block. Capaletti stays in the block. McCutcheon goes deep, and so does Jackson. We're looking for Jackson on the post. Falcons defense very tired. Play action fake. Hayden, post, Jackson, complete! Oh, he is tripped up at the two. Hayden to Jackson for 34 yards, and the Coliseum crowd goes insane. When you have someone down, you step on their neck and you turn, my friends. You turn their foot. Here's the replay. In actual speed. Play action fake. Bingo to Jackson. Bingo, bango, almost boom. First down. First and goal. First and goal. 820 and running. We'll take it to about 820. First and goal. Tyler and Phillips in the backfield. Hey, diddle, diddle, Wendell Tyler up the middle. Can he take the nasty plunge? Wendell Tyler, touchdown! The touchdown. UCLA grad with the two-yard touchdown run. And it is now 40 to nothing Rams. Here's the replay in actual speed. Great job by the Rams offensive line and Phillips, the lead blocker. As the Falcons are just being battered. Our saying is when someone's down, you kick them over and over again. You let them remember it, good. You let them remember it, good. That way next time you play them, you know they're coming after you. And you knock them down and you kick them over and over again. That's the way we play. Here comes Septien for the extra point to make it 41-0. Rams will have home field advantage. Oh, my God, Raphael, you piece of poop. Wide left. No good. Oh, God, I hate Septien. And he misses. Why? Because we're jerks. Onside kick. And Rams have it! 
Yes! Oh, the Falcons sideline. They're going insane. The Rams have the ball. And it's Wendell Tyler up the middle as we continue to chew clock here. And Wendell Tyler with a big run. This Falcons defense. This Falcons defense is very tired. Hey, diddle diddle. The youngster from UCLA, UCLA up the middle again. And Wendell Tyler gets hit pretty hard. Only a one-yard gain. Third and four. Phillips will get the carry on the counter left. 40 to nothing Rams. And Phillips got the first down. It's a good run. He pops for eight. A tiring Ortega trips him up. And we continue to run clock. Trap play. Phillips. I formation. Everyone up in the box for the Falcons. Phillips pops. He's got the first down and more. First down. 13 yards for Phillips. As the Rams continue to bludgeon the Falcons. They're feasting on this poultry from down south and loving it. Can anyone say fried chicken or fried falcon? Yummy. We'll take it under six minutes. Trap play again to Phillips. Falcons defense extremely tired, which makes it much more ineffective, but they, they swarmed to the ball there. No gain. No gain. Why? Because we're jerks. That's why. It's football. It's football. Phillips is tired. Let's get him out. Capaletti comes back in. And let's bring McCutcheon back in. Long pass. Capaletti stays in the block. McCutcheon and Jackson will run deep routes. Nelson and Young stay in the block. A horribly tired Falcon defense. Play action fake. Hayden. Hayden. Throws McCutcheon. And he has it inside the five. Hayden to McCutcheon for 23 yards. We're running up the score. Cause we why? Cause we can. Because we can. We don't play sissy football. You annihilate your opponent. You make them remember it. When they're down, you kick them. And you kick them over and over again. What would Jesus do, I say, in a football game? He'd do this, my friends. Well, probably not. He wouldn't probably do this, but his brother would. His brother would. Well, probably not. Here we go. First and goal from the five. Crowd loving it. And let's go quarterback sneak with Pat Hayden. And Hayden, touchdown! His second touchdown, touchdown. run. And it's 46 nothing. Let's see if this jackass Septian can make the extra point. Hayden to hold. Septian missed his last extra point. And this one is through. 47 nothing. You know it's coming, right? Why? Because we can. Onside kick. Because we're jerks. That's what we do. And Atlanta has it this time. And a mock cheer goes up by the Coliseum crowd with 4-10 left in the game. We're just playing nickel, man coverage pass. 47-0. Barkowski rolls, throws back the other way. Francis makes the catch. He'll get out of bounds. Boy, they want this agony to continue. Here we go, nickel, man coverage. Barkowski. Incomplete. Third down. Nickel, man coverage. What do we do? Third and three. Barkowski under duress. Throws. Incomplete. Fourth down. They keep the offense on the field down 47 and nothing. And for that, we will blitz. We're going to blitz both of our linebackers. We're going to try to get Barkowski good. Incomplete. Turnover on downs. 349 left in the game. Let's get Capaletti out of there. He's coming off of injury. Let's get McCutcheon out of there. So it's Phillips and Tyler. Hayden on the sneak. And Hayden rips up the middle. And he crosses midfield. Gain of 13. 
Again, hey diddle diddle, Pat Hayden up the middle. And he is hit by every Falcon. I'm sure they're kicking him in the balls right now. A lot of pushing and shoving. They don't like that the score got run up. But you know what you say to those guys? Play better next time. It's, it's a learning experience. It toughens them up. Wendell Tyler up the middle as we continue to run clock. And that's a big old hole for Wendell Tyler. He's close to the first. Third and one. Hey, diddle diddle, the UCLA grad up the middle again. We take it to the two-minute warning. Station identification break. You're watching this massacre on the Al Red Sox fan YouTube channel. Why? Because we can. My beloved 77 Rams are up 47 nothing. Unfortunately, Joe Namath got hurt, but he should be back for Week 14. We probably will not play him in Week 14 because we don't want him hurt for the playoffs. We will wrap up home field advantage. I thank everyone for watching. I greatly appreciate your time. I'd like to say hello to Dave Gardner. Please check out that wonderful YouTube channel and, of course, Digital Dice on Spreaker or wherever fine podcasts can be listened to. Third and one, Tyler up the middle. And we got the first down and more. That's what we first like. Down. We continue to run clock. Phillips to get the carry. Oh, what the hell? Let's go counter right. We've been killing them. They're, look at their defense. Very tired. Well, we're going to just continue to tire them out. And Phillips cuts middle. Second down. Picks up three. 40 seconds left. Why? Because we're jerks. Because we're jerks. We're, we're telling everyone we're coming for you. That's what we're telling. Why? Why, they say. Why are you doing this, Al? Well, this is why. And but Tyler will stay in the block. Phillips will stay in the block. Young will stay in the block. Uh, Nelson will run a corner. Oh, no, we want Nelson to run a corner route. And he's the primary. Nelson for the score. Hayden, back to pass. Nelson. Touchdown! Yeah, baby! 29 yards. Hayden to Nelson. And Bennett on the Falcon sideline screaming across to myself and Chuck Knox saying, I'm going to remember this. And we signal he's number one twice. What? A game for the Rams. Here's the replay. In actual speed, Hayden to Nelson for yet another score for the Los Angeles Rams as they are feasting upon the poultry called the Atlanta Falcons here at the LA Coliseum. If we could go for two, by God, we would. 53 to nothing. And Septien to kick. The Rams sending a message to the entire National Football League. It's 54 to nothing. You know it's coming, folks. Why? Because we can. Onside kick, because we're jerks. And Atlanta has it. Again, a mock cheer goes up. Let's see if they can actually score. They should be happy that we give them the ball at point blank range. Young Blood and Reynolds will blitz. Nickel man coverage. Put, put, put. Barkowski throws. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Second down. Here we go again. It's a Hail put, Mary. Barkowski incomplete. incomplete. Third down. All right. No more blitzers. Let's go prevent. Here we go. 20 seconds left. Shotgun snap. Barkowski throws middle. Incomplete. incomplete. Fourth and 10. Let's try to block the punt. Why? Because we're jerks. Put, put, put. James gets the punt off. Out of bounds. Seven seconds left. Deep corner put, route. Put, put. back to pass. Incomplete. Incomplete. All right. Second down. That's the ball game, folks. The Atlanta Falcons come into the Coliseum and they are deep fried by the Los Angeles Rams. 54 to nothing. Namath went out via injury early in the first quarter and then the Rams took revenge. You said, why did you do it, Al Red Sox fan? For that cheap shot on Joe Namath that they did. 
They had to pay for it. And pay they did dearly. 54 to nothing. What an ass-kicking extraordinaire it was. Let's go to this highlight because it was pretty cool. 58-yard punt return for a touchdown. This would make it 14 nothing. I just wanted to show you that. I love watching punt returns or punt blocks. Cullen Bryan races down the sidelines. The punter makes an anemic attempt at a tackle, but it's a touchdown. touchdown. Let's go back. 54 nothing quickly. Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, stats. Rams had 520 yards of offense. <laughs> Atlanta, 76. <laughs> Oh, what an ass kicking. It was beautiful. I loved it. Namath was one for one, 32 yards to Jackson. Then he got hurt on that cheap shot. Hayden was 14 for 21, 66%. 251 yards, two touchdowns. Quarterback rating 139.19. We don't need to look at the Atlanta stats. Capaletti, off of injury, 18 for 52 and a touchdown. McCutcheon, 16 for 90. Wendell Tyler, 10 for 31 and a touchdown. Hayden, 10 for 42 and two rushing touchdowns. Phillips, 8 for 31. Receiving, Jack, uh, Nelson, 5 for 91 and two touchdowns. McCutcheon, 4 for 55. Jackson, 3 for 88. Young, 1 for 27. Scales, 1 for 16. And Billy Waddy, 1 for 6. Defense, well... Defense really had the day off for the Rams. They weren't out there a lot. Leading tacklers were with three. Jack Youngblood, Jim Youngblood, who had an interception and a fumble recovery, uh, and Thomas, the defensive back. We will look at Atlanta. Leading tackler, Ortega, with 16, then Brezina with 10, Lewis with 11, and Brown, the strong safety, with 10. And they are tired, tired, tired defensive football players. Not much help with the offense and that's about it folks so 54 nothing rams quickly we're gonna sim some quick games for week 14 but first let's go to the standings and let's look at the nfc dallas at 10 and 3 they've wrapped up the east Philadelphia is still playing for a possible wild card. They're seven and six. Detroit seven and six. The Bears have wrapped up the Central at ten and three. Minnesota's not making the playoffs. We are twelve and one. We've wrapped up the NFC West in home field advantage. Now, AFC East is unbelievable. New England in a three-way tie is in first place. They're ten and three, but overall. The division record six and one, so they're in first place. Baltimore ten and three. Their division record's five and two. Miami, who lost to New England, it was devastating because they fell to ten and three. But they can't win the division, to be honest with you, unless well, they can't win the division. They would have to have New England and Baltimore tie on the last game of the year, and then they would have to win because their division record's four and three. One of these three teams is not making the playoffs. Cincinnati wraps up the Central in the AFC at 10 and 3. Pittsburgh was horrible at 5 and 8. There is not another winning team. Houston can get to 500 if they win in week 14. Denver takes the West at 10 and 3. Oakland 8 and 5. They're not making a wild card. So it all comes down to the AFC East. Now let's sim some games. St. Louis, Tampa. Both 5-8. and eight. Who's going to go to 6-8? and eight? St. Louis with a 13-10 win. Chicago, 10-3. Giants, 6-7. And, and in a slobber knocker defensive struggle, the Bears win 7-6 as the Giants really falter down the stretch. They had a chance for the playoffs, but they'll wind up 6-8. and eight. The Bears, 11-3. They win the Central. Here's a big game here. Minnesota... They, they, I don't know if there's some bizarro tie with a bunch of teams at 7-7 seven and seven if they get in. But if the 
Lions win, I believe they are in. And the Lions win. They go to 8-6. and six. Minnesota will not make the playoffs, which I didn't think they were going to anyway. They're 6-8. and eight, So I believe that Lions take the wild card, the one wild card in 1977. I should sim this, but I'm not going to because we'll play it out. Rams and Washington. Here's Atlanta. They just got bludgeoned. Can New Orleans go to 7-7? Seven and seven? No, they can't. So Atlanta comes back after taking a licking in the Coliseum. They defeat the Saints 10 to 3. Saints have another losing year at 6 and 8. 5 and 8 San Francisco, 4 and 9 Green Bay, and the Packers win 9 nothing. They go to 5 and 9. San Francisco is 5 and 9. Miami must win against Buffalo to have any hope. And they do by 10, 17 to 7. So they're 11 and 3. The New England Patriots Baltimore Colts is a Featured game. We will show you that game. We don't play as either team. We just call it. Four and nine Jets, seven and six Eagles. Eagles have to win. And they do. 16 to 3. But I think, and we're going to take a look before we leave. I think Detroit has the better conference record. And thus, I believe they make the playoffs. Cincinnati looking for their 11th win. Houston looking to go to 500. And Houston is crushed 23 to 3. So Cincinnati again, they win the Central. Browns four and nine, Seattle one and twelve, and Seattle goes to one and thirteen. The Browns win thirty four to six. They're now five and nine. A very disappointing year for the Steelers five and eight. San Diego six and seven, looking to go to five hundred, and they do with a nineteen to seventeen victory. And Pittsburgh will have to rethink what they've done. They're five and nine to end the season. The San Diego seven and seven. They're an upcoming team. Dallas-Denver, we're going to show you that game because it's they're two 10-3 teams, and we'll probably show you that game, so we'll leave it. We'll think about it. Oakland cannot make the playoffs, 8-5 against 2-11 Kansas City. Oakland crushes Kansas City, 29-3. They go to 9-5, but their year is done. Kansas City was god-awful. The only team worse was in the same division, Seattle, 1-13. We have three games left before we have the playoffs for our 77 replay. I might just play the Rams-Washington offline. I don't know. But we've shown all the games, so we probably will show it. And if we run up the score... Actually, that's going to be a tough game. That's not going to be easy. We're definitely showing you New England and Baltimore. And we might show you... That's why we left it. I'll think about it. Denver, 10-3. and Dallas, 10-3. and They actually met in the Super Bowl, but... You know, this is a replay and it's for fun. So let's go back. Did the Lions make the playoffs? I think they do. I think they have the better conference record than the Eagles. Let's go to standings. Let's go NFC. Eagles, 7-5 and five in conference. Holy cow! Lions, 7-5 and five in conference. I don't know how the tiebreaker goes now. Is it point differential or common opponents? So I don't know. The Eagles might have snuck in there. As both conference records are 7-5, and five, we will find out after week 14. Games left one last time. Our beloved Rams, who are 12-1, home field advantage throughout the NFC playoffs, take on the 5-8 and eight Washington Redskins. Namath was hurt. Early in the game against the Falcons. That's why we ran up the score, because of the cheap shot. Um, then, this is huge. The winner of this game between New England and Baltimore wins the division. And then, I think, if New England loses, they still get in as a wild card, I believe, because they have a better... They split with the Dolphins, so that's head-to-head, -head, and I think they have a better divisional record because that's the first tiebreaker if you're within the division. And then Denver-Dallas. So one last quick look now. Actually, I'm curious now. At the AFC East. Oh, no, if they lose, they're out. Miami would get the wild card. What am I saying? They're 11-3. So whoever, this is a playoff game. 
This is a p playoff game. Miami is going to get in either as the wild card or the division winner. Again, if New England and Baltimore tie, Miami takes the division. But Miami is going to make the playoffs. They're 11-3. and three. So this is a pseudo-playoff game for the Patriots and Baltimore. The winner is in. The loser is out. And that's going to be our first game in Week 14, Baltimore and New England. The winners, the division winner, if the Patriots win, they take the division. To me, I, the, the Dolphins are in. The Dolphins are in as a wild card or... They have that slim chance if New England and Baltimore tie, they take the division. There you have it, folks. Thank you very much to D. Scott Howard, Dave Gardner, TribesFan879, Dale Buckingham, Dave Little, Captain Carl 8, JT, Super Bowl Tournament, a.k.a. Mike in the Truck, the original Grognar, Jack Dawson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay safe, be smart. Health and happiness. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Yes, we ran up the score against the Falcons, but why? Because we can. And they hurt Joe Namath, so that's why. God bless. I love you all, and peace! Be back for the final week. Week 14 of 1977. Big game. Big game. Colts. Patriots for the division title.